Hey, how are you doing? Hope you are doing well. Welcome back to some more Super Nintendo RPG. Of course, if you missed the last part, you will find a link down in the description. You can go ahead and skim through it or watch the whole thing, whatever works. Jumping straight back into where we started, <laughs> where we left off. Um, so we're taking the fight straight to the Silkworms, right at their home home base, their headquarters, I guess. And Neptune is saying here, just like we expected, there is um, like a monster here, I guess, guarding the uh, the entrance. Good thing it's sleeping though, so we can just, I guess, get right around it. Okay, I like how Noir was just like, oh, but it's blocking the entrance. And I mean, like, I don't think it is. I think you could get around it just looking at the scene, but uh, whatever. So because we have the flute, we can just kind of play it and I guess get this guy to move. The world's smallest flute. <laughs> he sounds kind of angry. So it looks like he wants to fight. Yeah, this doesn't look like it's an easy solution at all. Right, I don't think this will take too long. A lot of these fights seem to just be um, quickly like taken care of. I guess we'll see uh, what kind of attacks work well on it. That seems fine. Alright, that was good. We'll do that. Nice. Alright. Very quick. Honestly, it feels like I'm playing New Game Plus or something, but I'm not. That's just how the game is, I guess. Anyways, so we won. Uh, it okay, it looks like our goddess powers are pretty stable right now, thanks to the work of the engineers kind of spreading out like 3D games. Uh, but Chrome is concerned, like, she doesn't, like, she's saying, she doesn't know exactly when all the shares are worn out. And a Purple Heart is saying, let's kind of conserve the shares. Let's just use the Goddess Power when we really need to. She's saying that that monster was like really strong. It's probably powered up by the silkworms. It was probably like force, um, not trained, but you know, like powered up just on the edge right before it went berserk. わからん。何しろ Alright, I guess we are inside the headquarters right now. I actually don't know if we're going to be able to explore it. Oh, I guess we are. So we can head back to Poly Island if we wanted to just bugger off and just like... Get out of here. 
But let's talk to this guy. Let's see what he's up to. Okay, so he's like escaping the Silgrims, I guess. Um, and he wants to play 3D games. That's pretty nice. I mean, I'll figure that out. We'll, we'll take that quest. We'll do that quest if we ever get around to it. Ooh, okay. I think we're almost, like, unless there's some kind of dramatic twist or whatever in the story, I think this should be the uh, final legs of the story. It just seems like a natural place to wind down, you know what I mean? Alright, let's see where we need to go. We started here, there's a save point there, and I presume we just have to go all the way to the right, where that other save point is. For a headquarters, for what is supposed to be like the most powerful organization, um, it seems kind of barren and unfinished. You know what, I don't even know if it's worth it to like continuing like to keep like attacking um enemies. Cause we did like we did level up quite a bit um the last dungeon we were in. I mean that area that we found like like by accident was like in it was intentionally placed there by the developers, right? So they must have been like, oh like this is fine for game balance, even if someone finds this, this will be okay. So, I don't know, I- oh, that seems dead, let me just get her back up. Wait, so he's not gonna arrest me? You're doing a really bad job, buddy. So he's just like, this is off limits, you're not allowed to go past here. Um, which makes sense, I guess? Um, but all the other Silk Worms that we experienced, like, we, that we, like, came across are always like, you're arrested. And this guy's just like, um, no, nah, you're not gonna get past her. Oh, absorb, nope, that's not good. So this game is almost out, um, in English. Like, at the time of recording this, it will be out, uh, fairly soon. So if you're jumping in on this, like, maybe you might have came across it from Google, YouTube recommended videos or whatever, you're curious about this game and you want to know how it plays, what it looks like, it's pretty much this. This is what it looks like. If you're here to, like, enjoy the game, I recommend maybe not speeding through battles like this. It does kind of kill it a little bit. Alright, that fight went a little longer uh, than intended. That's just because I was being really careless and letting uh, Noir hit those cat things. Okay, that was weird. I like, accidentally started the uh, quest at the same time that I got into this fight. Ah, oh, what am I doing? Just as I was just finished talking about um, Noir attacking those cat things, I went and did it again. So we're not, I think, being super efficient. Um, we're probably weak to fire. I think we can... I don't think I even have a fire spell equipped right now. What's on that pin? Not fire. 
This is uh, electricity, I'm pretty sure. Okay, but that was still fine. Not fire, but still pretty good. Nice. Alright. Where are we now? Yeah, what is this? この部屋だけ床が変なブロックね。これは何かしら？なんだか嫌な感じがしますわ。え。ああ、あなたたち。なぜあなたたちがここに？How did you get here? Well, I guess you like live here, kind of.この笛がなければ、ないわ。さては。She's saying that we stole the flute from her, which is not true. We, like, I guess picked it up. Yeah, she's saying, we didn't steal it, you just, we just picked it up. Alright, so there was supposed to be like some kind of password or whatever, um, and I guess we didn't use it. I guess we just kind of killed the monster. Um, but that password is Kromtan Haha. Just, just that. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> Alright, so she knows we're here to, I guess, get like to get the other engineers off the island. Um, and Blanc's just like, we're also here for the books. I guess she burnt them. So we were asking like where are the engineers and then she is like um oh you're you're on them and um we're like well, what do you mean she says like they didn't they didn't want to make 2d games so in order to understand 2d games they themselves became 2d which means we're actually standing on them i guess she turned them into blocks like the blocks in this in this room are, are the engineers apparently they are they're the blocks yeah <laughs> apparently that's feelings power she can do that that's a weird power to have very specific she's saying like um well what will happen if we break one of these blocks like will a star pop out of it I guess. I guess that happens, and I guess she just killed an engineer. She is saying that she, she like, is gonna turn us in the blocks. あなたたちが女神だったんだ。まったく前の戦いで消してやったと思ってたのに、人間になり下がってまで生きていたとはね。まあいいわ。ただの人間じゃない女神なら、ブロックにして壊したら面白いアイテムが出てくるかも。<
ねえクロムちゃんブロックになんてされないわあなたを倒して技術者を元に戻させるダメダメなってもらうんだからクロムちゃん四女神さあ遊びましょう Alright, I guess she wants to. She's saying, like, what will happen if I turn you into block and then I break you? Maybe I'll get an item from that.、Uh, and of course, we're not gonna. But I guess this is the. I guess we're just gonna fight her. She's a huge slime. Okay, looks like our best bet is still Noir, but she's almost dead. Alright, now we're good. Let's do it. Wait, what happened here? I don't think the fight. We didn't win, I don't think. Probably just a scripted fight. She's saying we have to be a little careful. We are surrounded by, I guess, engineers in block form, so we can't accidentally break them. I guess there isn't enough share to go around, so we kind of transform back into human form. At least Neptune did. That's not good. She's saying, like, don't worry, Krom, I won't turn you into a block. Oh no, we're gonna take a bullet first. A bit of a delay there. I mean, you had plenty of time to not do that, but you, you still did it.、Um, okay, so as Krom, like Krom just said to、uh, Neptune right now, she was like, like break, I guess? Like break、uh, Isawaru. Destroy? She's saying to like hurry up and just do it. We have to imagine that this conversation between、uh, Istowaru and, and Neptune is taking in between Firin's thoughts. The pacing's all kind of weird. Okay, I guess we're back here. That's the exact same line that she gave before. That's that Pokemon、um, reference that she just made. Exact same dialogue. Except. I mean, I guess, but Neptune is obviously acting different. So. Either we went back in time or this is some kind of like dream simulation. Hey, I, I think I might be taking crazy pills, but I think f e e d i n said a line, but c r o m voiced it just now. I have to, I'll watch that back when I get a chance, but I think f e e d i n said something and then c r o m voiced it by accident. I don't know. Anyways, so we like destroyed Istowaru and we're back here. Um. Okay, 
これって夢でもこれ島についてすぐの捕まえたモンスターを悪いことに使うようなら教えられないわそんなことしないもん捕まえたモンスターは優しく大切に愛情を持って育ててみせるわもしかして分かってるわね気に入ったわ教えてあげるもしかしてさあ早く教えるのだモンスターモンスターもしかして私過去に戻ってる時をかける女神ってるなんであイースを破ったから Wait, so we went back in time. She's saying, She's like, I am the goddess that leapt through time. I'm trying to put really cool. She's just like, Oh, no, nothing. Um, good weather. So, I'm like, Really? I think it's just normal weather to get a hold of yourself. Right, so she's saying, um, I guess only she went back in time. Everyone else seems to be acting normally, so I mean, they were blocks at the time, so. This is pretty much the same conversation that we had before. The lines are just almost the same. They're just like reusing them. Um, so she's just like, I'm gonna... I'm gonna confirm that this is not a dream. And I guess she's just slapping the hell out of her face right now. Okay, then she's just saying like, Oh, you're getting really serious, aren't you? Right, so throw the ball, uh, <laughs> knock out the monster, and then just put it in the bag. If that was your end game to just knock out a monster, you wouldn't really need to throw it at, like, throw a ball at it and knock it out. You could just, like, use a tranquilizer. It might be, might be more humane. I don't know what you guys, but watching this scene again kind of kind of hurts me. Like it's not different enough for me to get interested. Um, I just don't know why it put us back here. Like of all the places, um, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Right, but I'm just saying, you know, could have put us back at the front of the headquarters. To start of the fight. Just an offside, she says Kimini ni kimeta, which is pretty much what they say in Pokemon. That's kind of the catchphrase. It was translated as I choose you, which is really what it means. Actually, a very accurate translation. So she's saying she won't tell us the password uh, to get the monster out of the way. 
which is fine because we actually know it thanks to our time travel incident. Prom tan ha ha. She's saying like, are you okay with just letting her leave like that? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess... So there was like a voice from that pipe, I guess? Like a ball fell into that pipe and it hit someone, apparently. And now Blanc is in the pipe. <laughs> She's like, Blanc, are you okay? You didn't lose any lives, did you? Oh, there's a cushion down there, so we're all good. So there was like a rumor or whatever of some kind of like passageway under underneath the island. Um, but she's not good with dark, uh, narrow spaces. <laughs> She's saying she doesn't like them because it's not good for fights, because uh, it's dark and narrow. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how they're going to translate fight when it comes out in English. I mean... I don't know, whatever. It just sounds weird, right? Because the characters will be speaking English and then, like, fight will just mean, you know, fight. She's saying, all right, let's go into the pipe, just get on top of it and crouch down. It just looked like she fell into the, like, into the ground, but whatever. Oh, no. So there wasn't actually a cushion down there, it was just that guy. Um, like, she fell on him. Everyone fell on him, so he probably has a broken rib cage or something. どうするの進んでみる見張りがいたなら総本部に繋がってる通路かもしれん進もうどんな危険があるかわからないわ慎重に行きましょうタイムアタックは慣れてからだよねそういえばネプテューヌさっき何か言いかけてませんでしたそう